A man bids $100 million to buy the dog's life in the photo. This is because Agent 11, the dog, accurately targeted and crushed his balls after a few rounds of confrontation during a search and siege drug deal operation. However, the man is cunning, and due to insufficient evidence, he's released without charges. To restore his manhood's dignity, the doctor inserts two metal ball bearings to replace his inner void. Two of his henchmen soon lock onto Agent 11, training the new dogs in the park with the other handlers. As the handler, Ben, instructs Agent 11 to attack a dummy as an example to demonstrate the use of an invisible fence collar. A big explosion erupts from inside the dummy. This causes the dog to react instantly and step back. Later, all agents are summoned to devise a plan to keep Agent 11 safe, as he's the best dog for the FBI. Agent Jane then walks in and tells them that she will relocate the dog to a safer place but under one condition, Agent 11 should go there alone. Elsewhere in town, Billy starts his day by delivering mail. The street bleaker is the most challenging for him, as every house's backyard has a dog waiting for him. Billy equips himself with a slingshot, water gun, and spray to divert the dog's attention. However, not every method works. He ends up getting confronted by the dog Tyson every day, no matter what. His colleague intuitively laughs at Billy daily and even uses a stuffed dog to scare him. Knowing he fears dogs, Billy tosses the dog toy in the trash. But in a quick change of heart, he retrieves it and heads toward his woman neighbor, Steph, to give it to her son, James. As a gift, Billy has had a crush on Steph for a long time. But unfortunately, he's often mistaken as a cynical and irresponsible man. Later, while Billy and his colleague are relaxing at home, they hear a driver hurrying Steph downstairs as she prepares for a business trip. Billy springs into action, rushing to her house to build some trust by offering assistance. He volunteers to look after James until the babysitter arrives. After Steph leaves, Billy brings James to his own house. However, the babysitter soon calls to inform them that she won't be able to make it due to food poisoning. This leaves the boy feeling awkward and uncertain about staying with Billy. James eventually confides that his mother had labeled Billy irresponsible which greatly upsets him, trying to comfort the boy. Billy offers him some sugar to eat. Unexpectedly, this causes James to become overly excited and uncontrollable, turning the house upside down. Agent 11 stands alone the next day, awaiting a transfer to a secure location. Ben finally receives news that his dog will be sent to Alaska's FBI-sled dog training facility. This news fills both Ben and Agent 11 with excitement and a sense of relief. However, just as Ben departs, Jane swiftly switches Agent 11's name tag with that of another dog and contacts the drug dealer, Sony, informing him that the dog is ready. Agent 11 senses something has gone wrong and starts barking inside the van. When their vehicle suddenly breaks in an emergency maneuver, the dog skillfully manages to force the door open and escapes just before the henchman can react. Agent 11 runs through the neighborhood in search of shelter. During a critical moment, he slips into Billy's car while Billy is out delivering mail. Agent 11 and James gaze at each other, both looking bewildered, sensing that the boy is friendly. Agent 11 gradually lowers his guard. During their interaction, James asks Billy if Agent 11 is his dog. However, Billy mistakes this reference for the stuffed dog he had given James earlier. He promptly responds that the toy is James's dog and even suggests the name Spot for it. At the mention of Spot, Billy's actual dog becomes alert and rushes forward, barking loudly and startling Billy. The trio returns to Billy's workplace. Spot appears puzzled as he watches Billy engage in a dance-off with his colleagues, an experience foreign to him as a former FBI dog. Later, Billy explains to James his disdain for dogs and his intention to abandon Spot. This breeds resentment in Spot toward Billy. However, swayed by the boy's pleas, Billy reluctantly agrees to take Spot home. Upon entering the house, Spot immediately positions himself by the window, assuming a protective stance and awaiting orders. This behavior unnerves both Billy and James. Billy attempts to engage Spot in a game of fetch by offering him a ball, but Spot remains seated, perplexed about how to respond, given his training with his former handler, Ben, who instructed him not to play. Spot is conflicted. In frustration, Billy yells at Spot, declaring he will teach him to act like a proper dog. Billy removes Spot's collar and places it around his neck. With the ball in his mouth, Billy proceeds to mimic the behavior of a regular dog, attempting to show Spot the expected behavior. However, Spot remains unmoved, leaving Billy feeling foolish in his efforts. In a misguided attempt, Billy tries to remove the collar, unaware it's an invisible fence collar. This results in him getting shocked multiple times whenever James changes the TV channels. James uses this as leverage to keep Spot, and Billy reluctantly agrees to the arrangement. The following morning, Billy finds himself tasked with looking after James and Spot. He takes them to the park to teach Spot how to play fetch. Despite multiple attempts, Spot remains bewildered, 
causing frustration for both Billy and James. Suddenly, Bot spots Sony's henchmen in the distance. Searching for him, he sneaks away and observes them from behind a tree. Just as he's about to intervene, he notices a thief robbing two girls nearby. Spot immediately springs into action, rushing over to the scene. He successfully retrieves the stolen purse and returns it to the girls. Billy follows suit, but when he arrives, he mistakenly thinks that Spot is the thief since the girls cannot express their gratitude verbally due to being deaf. Steph calls Billy to inform him of her delayed return, as she's on a slow bus. Meanwhile, Spot's former handler struggles emotionally due to the extended separation from his canine companion. His colleague offers solace, suggesting that he visit Spot in Alaska. At home, Billy punishes Spot by tying him to the furnace, causing the dog to whimper. Spot is confused, not understanding what he did wrong. Seeking revenge, Spot barks loudly at 3 a.m., waking Billy up to take him downstairs for a bathroom break. However, Spot leaves Billy behind and returns to the house alone, purposefully snatching the newspaper Billy had used to prop open the door. The sound of the door shutting awakens Billy, but Spot spitefully walks away despite Billy's pleas. Billy shouts to James to open the door but steps on Spot's poop. Later, he climbs the water conduit to reach his room. Unbeknownst to him, Spot has been waiting there. When Billy closes the window, Spot walks away, causing Billy to fall to the ground without his underwear. The commotion attracts the attention of the police, who confront Billy. In frustration, Billy proclaims that Spot is a dog from hell, leading the police to consider him a lunatic. The situation becomes tense until Spot wakes James up and proves that Billy lives there. Since then, Billy and Spot have worked on mending their relationship. The trio manages to get along smoothly. They return to the beach to continue teaching Spot how to play fetch. Despite ongoing attempts, Spot still struggles to comprehend the game's rules. James becomes frustrated and walks away in disappointment. Billy explains to Spot that he wants James to have fun since his mother tends to be overprotective. Spot, noticing the boy's sadness, eventually compromises and engages in his first ever game of fetch, much to his enjoyment. Having failed to capture Spot previously, two of Sony's henchmen flood the city with missing dog posters. Just as they begin to lose hope, they unexpectedly spot Spot. Accompanied by Billy and James, outside a pet shop, Billy encourages James to choose whatever he wants for Spot, highlighting that he's a good dog. Unbeknownst to them, the henchmen follow them into the shop and discreetly disable the security cameras. Confronting James about the dog's whereabouts, the henchmen are unaware that Spot sneaks up behind them, wielding a dustpan and preparing to attack. He successfully incapacitates them by knocking them into a stack of balls, causing one of them to drop their gun into a piranha tank. Chaos ensues between the men and Spot as the dog cunningly outweeds them with a cat and mouse-like strategy. Spot's antics leave the men bewildered and spinning in circles. Ultimately, Spot triumphantly demonstrates his victory by causing chaos throughout the shop. Meanwhile, in Alaska, Ben arrives only to discover that his beloved Agent Eleven has been missing the entire time. This realization leads him to suspect Agent Jane's involvement in the situation. Unfortunately, they realize their suspicions too late, as Jane has already made her escape. Billy and James make their way to the police station to report the incident, but their story is met with disbelief, making them the subject of mockery. Dejectedly, they leave the station and return home. Despite the initial setback, the trio finds solace in each other's company, with Spot sleeping between Billy and James for the first time, displaying a pet-like behavior. Unbeknownst to them, the henchmen and the FBI have surrounded their house. The henchmen are caught but manage to escape on the spot. After investigating, Ben approaches Spot and asks him to return with him. Billy objects, asserting that James needs the dog, but he's reminded that Spot is federal property. Despite Spot's reluctance, he's taken away from his newfound family. Spot's departure takes a toll on James, who refuses to eat. Similarly, Spot, now accustomed to being a part of a loving family, also refuses to eat. As Billy grapples with James' behavior, a call from Steph leads to a misunderstanding, causing her to return home in haste. A few days later, Spot's longing for a normal family life becomes evident when he observes a family playing fetch with their dog. Restless in his cage, Spot manages to escape and rushes back to Billy's house. Concerned about James, Billy searches for him and finds him on his way to find Spot. As they head back home, the henchmen spot them and give chase in an attempt to capture Spot. This leads them to Bleecker Street again, where with the help of the dogs, they manage to elude the henchmen and race home to contact the police. Upon arriving home, they discover that Sony has captured Ben and is demanding Spot in exchange for his release. While Sony is distracted, Spot strategically positions himself in the room, waiting for the right moment to strike. Spot springs into action at a critical moment, incapacitating Sony and ending the threat. The FBI apprehends Sony, and Ben extends the offer for Spot to rejoin the team. Billy stands his ground, advocating that Spot deserves a loving family and the chance to be a regular dog. They decide to let Spot make the decision. Spot chooses to stay by Billy's side in a touching moment, leaving Ben heartbroken again. 
Steph eventually returns home after a series of wild adventures. She initially blames Billy for everything and takes James away. Without James, Billy finds his life devoid of purpose. With Spot's intervention, Steph's misunderstandings are cleared, leading to a resolution. The four of them come together to form a new family and live happily ever after. If you like my channel or enjoy watching me dance, please leave a comment in the comment section saying dance. Adam.